Uh, this is Stephen Bridges with Construction Laser. I uh, just want to show you in Infinity what it looks like when you bring data from the new GS18i imaging GPS tilt receiver uh, from Life of Geosystems and into the software and, and what you can do with it, or just a quick overview of some things you can do with it. Uh, so what I've done is I've just created a new project, went to File, Import, and selected my DBX file uh, from that I exported from the collector. Um, when I did that, it brought in everything you see except for the point cloud. So it brought in all my total station shots, any GPS shots I took, uh, my reference station information for my base. Um, the way I created the point cloud was I just went to my image groups, uh, clicked on one, shift, click on the other, and then just hit dense point cloud. Uh, it automatically popped everything where it should be. Uh, no cloud to cloud registration or uh, matching up targets like you would with a terrestrial scanner um, from the high definition scanning group. Uh, so everything's right where it should be and I can go to work. Uh, I'll show you how we can use the imagery in this. Uh, we can go in and create points. And we'll create one that I can measure against one of my total station shots, uh, just so we can see how the imagery compares to uh, some truth data with the total station. So to do that, I'm in my imaging tab. I can hit new point. Uh, you can also create this data in the field, but um, you know a lot easier with a cup of coffee and a mouse. So I'm going to do a building front. So it brings up uh, the imagery that was collected along this walk. This was about a 30 second walk I did with the 18. Um, so if I go in here, I can put my mouse wheel down on this bottom row and just scroll across, uh, find something I want to measure. I know I had this uh, corner as a total station shot over here. So we can use that uh, to, uh, to check against the total station. So if I want to create this point, I can just zoom into it, or there's a zoom tool we can use. And say I want to grab this one here. It's telling me from the, uh, I'm going to rename it. I don't want it to be a point cloud point. So I'm going to do, uh, let's call it pick uh, 250. Let's make it something odd there. It's telling me it used three images. Now, if I wanted to use more images, and it probably would have done better if I didn't walk around the tree, uh, would have got it all the first time. But if I want to tighten this up, I can go to some other images, zoom in, uh, click where that same corner is. We're down to 400, so you can see it tighten up, and we can carry on doing the same thing. Two nine. We'll get around here to the other side. And... Two one. So I'm going to say I'm going to let that ride. Point uh, oh two one. Now that's not what my point quality is going to be. That is the uh, quality from all the image calculation, combining all the photogrammetry here when it runs the engine and checks itself. Um, my actual point stored will show uh, the accuracy. Uh, basically this plus whatever the GPS accuracy was. Uh, could give it a code if I like, that sort of thing, uh, what layer it's on. But I'm just going to go ahead and hit Create. I do have a little lag with uh, the video recording software I'm using. Uh, normally this just, I click it and it's done. Uh, so it's it's finished it. So now I can go back to my my overall map viewer and let's just uh, do some comparison here uh, and see how much uh, deviation we have between these points so um, I'm just going to go to the home tab we'll do uh, measure to point just do a quick inverse between these I didn't have my selection on but we'll just do it this way 17 To pick 250. Okay, so now we can see we're you know within a tenth horizontal and sloping distance uh, height. We're super tight on. Uh, again, I 
probably would have got even better if I didn't walk around the tree, but that's a kind of show real world conditions. You can't control where the tree is, but, uh, but we can see we got pretty good, pretty good residuals, uh, here. So, uh, we can report that we can just cancel it out. That points there, uh, stored in our points list, export to ASCII, whatever we want to do with it. Uh, if you're using a different software to uh, do all your drafting in. Uh, so that's how you can quickly create points from the uh, pictures. Now also if you want to go in and uh, do some striping, I was doing some earlier here, but uh, you know, so we want to uh, just create some quick information on the from the point cloud data. Uh, we can go in and uh, uh, I'm gonna, escape out of my point creation where I was in the measuring. And so we want to create a new line, give the line a name, put it on a layer, color, all that good stuff. Uh, I'm go in here and just say, I'm going to burn up some stripe and click point and just start, start drawing it out. And then, uh, then carry on just creating our new line. So a uh, ton of value here. You can go in and create surfaces, do volume calculations, uh, export any file type you would need in for any other software. Um, uh, real powerful tool here. Just wanted to show a quick overview. Really impressed with this GS18. Uh, uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment and I really appreciate you taking time to watch.